Hey folks and welcome back to the channel for another one of my Project Zomboid guides. So in this one I wanted to visit one of the areas that I think a lot of beginner players don't understand when first approaching Project Zomboid and that's the items that you need to be on the lookout for. There's a raft of information to take in when jumping into Project Zomboid for the first time and it's easy to overlook something as simple as the items that are worth grabbing in the early stages of the game. So in this video I'll be covering those must-have items that you can't afford to miss. If you find if you find this video useful or catch something that you didn't know before, drop it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more tips, guides and gameplay. So number one, first on our list and arguably one of the most important tools for survival that many Project Zomboid players depend on, a water bottle. Having one of these on your person allows you to interact with water sources like sinks or toilets if you're feeling adventurous to acquire a reasonable amount of water to carry around with you. Keep this item in your direct inventory not in your bag and your character will stay hydrated automatically without needing to drink. Just remember to top it up once in a while. If you don't have a water bottle, there's actually some really close alternatives that can be used too. For example, find yourself an orange soda and you can drink the contents, then fill the empty bottle with water. Find some beer or other alcohol and you can either drink the contents or pour it on the ground, then fill the container. Anything works really, but it's incredibly useful to carry on your person at all times. Times, especially if you happen to pick up the high thirst perk when creating your character. Keep in mind that tainted water will still need to be purified by boiling it in a pot. You can find these in any food stores, bars, restaurants or just in regular residential housing so it shouldn't take too long before you find one. Next up and I've sort of combined two items into this one we're looking at vitamins and sleeping pills. Little disclaimer here these items won't be as beneficial if you're playing on a multiplayer server that happens to have sleep turned off. Those that play on single player have already likely realized that you need to keep a relatively good sleep schedule so that you're able to make the most out of the daytime hours and spend as much as the night as possible either sleeping or doing tasks around your safe house that won't put you in danger. Now, the vitamins serve to keep tiredness at bay for that little bit longer. When you're getting tired in a dicey situation, you can pop a few vitamins and you'll have a greater chance of making it home in one piece. Now, for anyone that's unaware, the more tired your character, the weaker they will be and the longer it will take for them to kill Zeds. It can really screw you over, so keep an eye on it. On the other side of the spectrum, sleeping pills are fantastic to use in the event that your character either isn't quite ready for sleep yet, or alternatively they're anxious or in pain, which is keeping them from sleeping. This allows you to keep that sleep schedule on track, something we can only wish was that easy in reality. And whilst the best way to find this type of thing Thing is in medical buildings or pharmacies, keep an eye out for medicine cabinets in bathrooms of regular housing too. Sometimes you'll get lucky there. Staying on track with the medical items, there's one or two more that can be super handy. This next one is beta blockers, which will be incredibly useful for all players unless you picked the veteran occupation. If you did, ignore me, you won't need this item. Beta blockers reduce your panic severely, allowing you to fight more effectively in a tough situation. Your panic will build when a higher number of zombies are present, which reduces your accuracy both in melee and ranged combat. Having these around will help steady your character's nerves. You can find them in pharmacies, doctor's surgeries, hospitals or medicine cabinets in regular housing. If you're lucky, sometimes you'll find these on corpses as well. So with this next one, I wanted to focus on a bit more of a recent addition. With the multiplayer update, we were given the ability to use a map in game, which is fantastic. More recently, we were given a larger selection of map icons. Now, in order to place icons on your map, you'll need either a pencil, a pen, or preferably a choice of coloured pens. To remove or edit icons and text, you'll need the eraser. All of these items can be found in offices, so you can often pick them up inside desks or on the desks themselves, residential housing, office blocks, schools, whatever. Again, these should be relatively easy to acquire, but can be a big help for marking where you've been and where you want to go to next. Alright, so next I wanted to take a quick look at an item of clothing that might not seem like a big deal, but it definitely is, and there's a very simple reason for it. If you've played Project Zomboid at all, you may have made the simple mistake of jumping through a window without picking out the broken glass first. Leather gloves reduce the chances of getting glass lodged in your hands in the event that you need to do this, but also give you better protection from zombie bites too, which can very often occur on the hands of your character. Wearing these is a must if you want to acquire 
require the best protection possible, and usually they can be found on the bodies of zombie construction workers or bikers, so keep an eye out. Now this brings me nicely to my next item, which is the tweezers. In the event that you do have to clamber through a smashed up window and manage to get some glass lodged in your character's body, or if you're on a multiplayer server and even worse, a bullet gets lodged in you, the tweezers will allow you to remove that foreign object from your character. Sometimes you'll need a suture needle and a suture needle holder if this results in a deep wound, but at the very least you can remove the object and bandage up your wound until you find a more permanent solution. Now, back to wearables for the next one. My next piece of equipment that you'll want to grab as soon as possible in Project Zomboid is a digital watch. Regular watches or even alarm clocks can suffice for the short term, but digital watches are the best option here. You'll be able to tell the date, the time, and even set alarms to wake yourself up at the right time for your sleep schedule. If you're in a pinch, you can also just set an alarm for an hour or two forward if you want to try and catch a quick nap in your vehicle whilst out on the road. Watches are best acquired from the corpses of zombies and are pretty easy to find within your first few kills of every playthrough. Now whatever you do, despite your best efforts, you will find yourself out at night time sooner or later. There are two types of flashlights in the game that can help with these instances. One, a smaller, more lightweight version, and another, more powerful, but slightly heavier version. Whichever you choose, make sure to pack a couple of extra batteries, which can be gained from dismantling pretty much any electrical device. It'll go through them pretty quick, but believe me, being able to see when you're inside looting or wandering through dark corridors will drastically decrease your chances of anyone sneaking up on you and getting a little bitey in the dark. Your best bet for finding these tends to be in wooden crates, glove boxes of cars, or in army surplus stores. All of these tend to spawn flashlights at a relatively decent rate. This next one on my list might be a bit of an obvious one, but nevertheless, it'll help you in almost all situations and is something that never leaves my character once I get one, and that's the can opener. Aside from cans of sardines, all canned food requires a can opener. These can be found in kitchens of almost any building that has one, and you'll usually spot one pretty soon after your game starts, so just make sure to grab one and keep hold of it. Last one on this list, and it's another double item here, but essentially I wanted to cover a couple of things that you'll want to acquire to keep infections at bay. In the event that you get a wound, dirty bandages or bad hygiene can result in an infection. Even with your best efforts, this might still happen, but there's items that we can be on the lookout for to be prepared for this eventuality. Now first and foremost, antibiotics. These are rare, but can be found in any medical building or medicine cabinet in residential buildings. If a wound shows up as infected, taking these will help fight off the infection before it can take a proper hold and cause you serious damage. Even without antibiotics though, we can fight infections. We'll need two items for this. Firstly, bandages. Keep these on you at all times. Now the first thing I do when I load into a playthrough is grab an extra piece of clean clothing from either a zombie or a wardrobe and create a couple of ripped sheets. I can swap these for bandages later. Next, we find some disinfectant. The bottle of disinfectant are the best option here, but failing that, we can use a bottle of bourbon as an alternative disinfectant. As you'd expect, bandages and disinfectant can be found in medical spawns, whereas bourbon is often found at bars or restaurants. Finally, before I wrap up this video, I did just want to bring in a few honourable mentions since there's so many items in Project Zomboid that can be beneficial for you to pick up. The sledgehammer is an item you should always be on the lookout for. Incredibly rare, but will allow you to access locations like gun stores that are locked behind metal shutters. Keep an eye out for pickup trucks with manhole covers next to them when out on the road, as these will spawn them. Otherwise, crates are your best bets. The next one is lighters and cigarettes, easily acquired from most gas stations or corner shops, and the smoker perk is one that many characters grab when making their character for extra points. It's relatively easy to maintain after the first couple of days, and you'll definitely need these if so. Glove boxes of cars, zombie bodies, and dresses often spawn these too. The next one is sheet ropes. Keeping a couple of these on your person from random clothing you find can be a great way to escape from the upper floors of buildings in sticky situations. Keep in mind that you will also need a hammer and a few nails to make this work, and you can find those on construction sites. So that's it from me in this guide to must-have items in Project Zomboid and where to find them. If there's items you think I missed that you would recommend keeping an eye out for, let me know in the comments to help any new players that are watching this video. Oh, and also, I've been testing out some YouTube streaming for Project Zomboid lately. I'm live on most Saturdays, starting at 1pm UK time through until about 5pm to 6pm. So check out the community section on the channel and go set a reminder for that if you want to 
Couch Me Live. Special thank you to all of my patrons for their support and for joining me on the whitelisted Project Zomboid server. Link will be in the description if anyone is interested. Thanks guys, and I will see you all in the next one.